too strong But ain't nobody saying sorry The speaker's so blown No one knows what it is But we keep it on repeat Cause we don't want it to end We got the rest of our lives For the rest of our lives And the rest of our lives I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we've got a pair of running backs who are hoping for plenty of touches to come their way. It's the Ravens going up against the Dolphins. With that, let's head on down to Miami, where we'll hand it over to the two men calling our game. That's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Larry, it was a little late in getting here, but autumn has arrived on a beautiful November day in Miami, Florida. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Baltimore Ravens and the Miami Dolphins. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And we are underway from Miami. This will be taken in at the one. And he will be marked out right there at the 20-yard line. to a giant to begin the drive. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And on your screen, the offensive starters, Jarvis Landry, a guy that we profile. Love his game. Not only is he going to beat you with athleticism, he's going to outwork you as well and look for him to hurt you also in the kick return game. Second down following the run. It's Ajayi. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. And here are the Raven defensive starters. Timmy Jernigan, play him over the nose, play him a defensive tackle, bounce him out to defensive end. Wherever you want to put him, Timmy Jernigan can play. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And over the middle, this is Parker. And down he'll go at the 25. Okay, look at this. The punt team nowhere to be found. They're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the Set, opening blue, drive. Zebra. Zebra. They're going to go. It's Tannehill surveying the field. And that's caught. Did he stay in bounds, though? He did not. So they take a big, big chance here in their own territory. And you think the coach may have some questions to answer? Yeah, and, you know, normally we focus on the media, right, the social media barrage that he's going to get for this one. How about on his own sideline and in his locker room? Because yeah. I think the team's going to look at him like, Coach, why would we go for it there? I mean, no confidence in the defense. You don't like the punter. I mean, what's going on here? You owe us some explanations. How many times when we see an incomplete pass, we just look at the receiver and say, ah, should have caught that one. That was a drop, and we just put it on the offense. How about the credit for the defense there? They just forced an incompletion. Yeah, especially after starting in a tough spot defensively, but a good start there on first down. That gave them a little extra confidence there, starting, as you said, in a tough spot and being able to make a play on first down. 
Third and long for Joe Flacco. He's got time in the pocket. And that is incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. And Tucker's kick right there. It's good. And the Ravens strike first at three zip. Well, the offense got the ball in a good spot, but they went nowhere. They settled for three. Brandon, I think it's safe to say that was a major disappointment. Had a great opportunity, excellent field position, and did not be able to move the ball at all. Big time letdown. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. <laughs> Spinning past him. And he'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. So now here come the Dolphins. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense has got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened there. You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. And that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. This is Ajayi. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And they still need eight yards for the first here on second down. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers. There's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> they come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Tannehill. And he'll be out of bounds up near midfield at the 49. That one good for 14 yards. And that's going to lead to a third down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. And a loss of three to bring up four. Back now with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second quarter begins with the Dolphins in possession of the football. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're gonna go for it on fourth and seven. Zebra, zebra, set, blue, ten. Blue, ten. For it. It's Tannehill, and he hits his target. It's Kenny Stills. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action. 
possession here. It's a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They begin here with a run by West. And they'll stop him right on the midfield stripe. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. Here's Flacco. And hauled in by Pitta. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Play fake here on first down. Backing up. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. And on second and ten now. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Five yards to gain here on third down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a Now it's Flacco. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he showed some fancy footwork on the juke, but then quickly taken down. Well, it wasn't a big strike. But that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. A little bit of a lower trajectory there on the deep kick, and it worked. Had to do it because he had to drive it out low because of the length of the kick. Able to do that, got it above the defense, and over the post. <laughs> At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If that, if Jay Ajay's going to go. Oh, Still going. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Jay Ajay, 58 yards. And his guys are an extra point away now from taking the lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes.